where Minister of Sport Development Senator John Owaneno has urged the Super Falcons of Nigeria to break the 16-year barrier that has kept Nigeria from participating in the Olympic Games women's football event. Our Abuja Sport Editor Samuel Adeleke has more. Speaking ahead of Super Falcons clash with South Africa in Pretoria on Tuesday, Senator Eno stressed the importance of self-belief and resilience in achieving victory. I saw you play on Friday, and I believe undoubtedly that you will win. I believe that you will emerge as you go for this match. So it's to bid you farewell and to let you appreciate the enormity of the responsibility that you carry on your heads. As young as you all are, you are the threshold of history. That the whole country is just waiting. The whole country will be watching and will be clapping that you make Nigeria proud. Let's beat the South Africans. Let's qualify and then challenge government and challenge me. With a 1-0 lead from the first leg in Abuja, the Super Falcons carried the nation's hopes into the decisive match in South Africa. The winner to be determined by aggregate score will secure one of two African tickets to the Paris 2024 Olympics. Tuesday's game will kick off by 6.30 p.m. Nigerian time. In other stories, the men's and women's Federation Cup competitions are set to begin with national playoff matches kicking off in five cities across the country on Thursday. The Nigerian Football Federation announced that Gombe, Josh, Kasina, Asaba, and Enugu will host the playoff matches. Following the conclusion of state-level competitions, 70 teams have entered for the national finals. 12 men's teams are selected for the playoff, with the remaining 58 on standby. The six teams emerging from the playoffs will join the standby teams for the national draw, totaling 64 teams. In the women's competition, 31 teams are vying for the national title, with registrations from 20 states. Samuel Adeleke, ADBN Television News.